Scientists at home and abroad are looking to the natural world with the hope of finding solutions to end global hunger. One possible one is entomophagy. That's a fancy word for eating insects. Students at Cornell University have developed a food product made of mealworm protein known as Sifu. Joining us today from Cornell University is Chief Operating Officer of Sifu Foods, Lee Kadesky. Thanks for joining us. And I'm a vegetarian, so I won't be participating in any taste tests of this, but how did you come up with this uh, notion of eating insects on this kind of scale when we're talking about global hunger? Insects really represent a great solution to the problems of, of global hunger and malnutrition. Uh, they're a great source of nutrition, um, and this has been recognized by FAO, by scientists worldwide. Uh, the big issue is just that sort of ick factor. People don't want to eat a food that you've got to look into its thousand eyes. Um, so we looked for ways that we could reprocess insects into something that would be palatable and familiar and something that was easy to work with. And so what did you come up with? So our, our original inspiration, we looked at um, fish cakes, uh, which were developed in, in the early 20th century in Japan in response to uh, the use of trawling nets and bycatch that started accumulating. They had all of these ugly fish species that nobody wanted to eat because there wasn't really a, a traditional uh, mandate to use these foods in their cuisines. Um, so they've developed a process to extract the protein and then reform it into fish cakes. Um, and I figured, well, we could do the same thing with insects since we're really solving the same problem. What kind of insects are we talking about? Uh, I mean, we're really talking about any insects. There's at least uh, 1,900 known edible species, but the real number could be anywhere in the 10 or 100 thousands. Uh, for us, we've worked so far with uh, mealworms, waxworms, superworms, and crickets. Uh, and every one of them gives us a different flavor, texture, and color. When you say they're high in protein, are we talking about protein almost like a tofu substitute? Uh, we're talking more than, more than tofu, uh, almost double that in tofu, uh, for seafood that is. Um, crickets and other insects can have as much protein as beef, and much more of them is edible. They don't have all of those uh, nasty bones in the way. And I imagine when you look at how to farm an insect, it's far less taxing on the environment than how resource expensive it is to, say, graze or raise one pound of beef, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, it takes an enormous amount uh, of land, water, and emits, we emit a huge amount of carbon emissions uh, by raising livestock. Um, a, one pound of beef uh, requires nine to ten pounds of feed uh, to raise that, whereas it could be around two for mealworms. Um, the other great benefit to raising insects is you can raise them high. They don't need sunlight. So you can, you can raise them in factories and actually farm them vertically, which uh, you can't really do with any other animal. And what kind of scale are we talking about? How many millions or billions of insects generate how many pounds of food that could actually go towards these hunger crises? An insect uh, is really anywhere from 70 to 90 percent edible mass. Um, and you, you can eat the whole thing, you just might not digest all the nutrition in it. For Sifu in particular, uh, it takes about 10,000 mealworms to make about a pound and a half. Uh, but consider those, those mealworms weigh about a fifth of a gram each. How does this roll out? I mean, let's say, best case scenario, five years from now, Sifu is on track. What does that mean? Where do we see Sifu, and how does it help starving people? Really, we see Sifu uh, everywhere. You see it in your grocery store right there next to chicken, beef, fish, or tofu. Um, and you've got insect protein as an option alongside uh, you know, all the other options on a menu when you go out to a restaurant. Uh, you know, for us, we, we see uh, the West and industrialized countries as being really the worst offenders in terms of their consumption of meat and the impact that that has on the world and on global food security. So we, we really want to start with, with people at home and change dietary habits and, and move people to be more conscious about, what, about the food choices they make and, and make choices that are better for the environment and better for the planet. So if you could sort of ma wave your magic wand, uh, and you had Sifu up and running, let's say, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, or parts of South America or South Asia, where there is significant malnutrition. How does insect protein um, get there better, faster, cheaper than the solutions that we have today? Well, I think the first thing that's important to mention is it's, it's not just about one solution. Solving you know, global food security is really about having a diverse portfolio of solutions that work together and address all the issues that are, are right now present in our food systems. Um, for Sifu in particular, Sifu is, is a refrigerated product, and it doesn't necessarily meet the needs of people in sub-Saharan Africa. 
but it does present opportunities for them to become entrepreneurs, to start raising micro livestock and start uh, raising those for consumption in other markets and start developing an economy that, that builds around insects as, uh, as a food source. And what does it taste like? Uh, so we developed Sifu. Our real goal was to have something that had a very subtle flavor and was very easy to pair. And that's what we've really found with the mealworm Sifu. Um, we haven't liked the flavor we've gotten from crickets or from superworms, although we're still working with crickets to uh, address some issues that might have come in through the feed. Uh, waxworm Sifu tastes like scrambled eggs and whipped cheese. So they all have a different flavor, a different color, a different texture, and, and we're really excited to explore you know, the 1,900 edible ones that are out there and the you know, who knows how many others that, that are still uh, waiting to be tasted. All right, Lee Kadeski from Sifu Foods joining us from Cornell University. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks.